In today's episode, we are going to explore 3D scanning. What is 3D scanning? 3D scanning is taking physical objects from this world and digitizing them in order to put them into our CAD programs. Objects like a ring, a pendant, or it could be something organic, such as a seashell picked up at the beach. But not just that, we can also digitize toys like our Rosita here. Let's watch and see how this is done. We have an eagle pendant here that I'm gonna get ready to spray. And when I say spray, I don't mean spray paint. This is gonna get a coating of what is really a spray-on whiteout. This is reflective and it's dark. And the LED light that's in the machine can't see it. It needs a, a light colored, white is best, a light colored matte finish to see the object and to create a surface from it. So if it's dark and it's shiny, it's gonna be invisible to the camera in the machine. It's a touch, it's a bit of a, an acquired thing. You just kind of, over time, you figure out how to put it on there without putting it on too thick. What can be tricky is that you, you have to sort of get up in the little crevices. This is done. So now as soon as it's done drying, it can go in the machine. We have scanned some of our items. We have brought them into our CAD program. Let's see what we can do with them. As you can see, we have them here on our desktop. We're gonna remove some of them and let's see what we can do with the Eagle. First thing we can do is give it a basic look around to see if we need to fix anything. The mesh looks very fine. We can pick it up and we can stretch it or we can scale it up or we can scale it down to different sizes or we can get really fancy and cage edit. Here in Rhino, they have a command called cage edit where you can manipulate the object to whatever position you like. So we can grab these corners, lift it up, and now the wings are soaring. Or we can lower the bail a little bit and make those claws come right at you. So now we are done with our eagle. We are ready to bring it to the 3D printer and from there to casting. In conclusion, we have scanned various different types of pieces, have manipulated them in our CAD program, and have castings that are ready to go.